Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can get an Xbox 360 wired controller to work with your Xbox One. Now in this video I'm going to be using an Xbox One S but it will also work with the original Xbox One as well. Now if you were to plug it in via one of the USB ports straight into the Xbox it's not going to work, it doesn't recognise it at all, it doesn't even turn on. So, there is a way you can get it to work if you have a Windows 10 device. You have to plug this in via the Windows 10 device, and believe it or not, it actually works really well. And if you find you are having slight delay on it, you can lower down the settings a bit on the Windows 10 device because you are actually viewing the picture on the main TV here. So it doesn't matter if the streamed image is bad on the Windows 10 device because you're not using that device. So why would you actually want to use this? Well, let's say now you've got your original Xbox One controller and it's broken. Obviously, this is the preferred method. This works really well. It's going to work much better. But if it's broken and you haven't quite got the money together yet to buy yourself a new one, then you if you have an Xbox 360 controller lying around, you can still get good gameplay by using that, and I'll show you that in a little while. Or the other scenario might be that you've got friends over and you want to do a two-player game, but you've only got the one controller. So rather than going out and buying a brand new Xbox One controller, you've already got an Xbox 360 controller, you've already got a Windows 10 laptop, in which case then you can just use this as the two-player one. So you can play the one-player one and then your friend can play the two-player one on the Xbox 360 controller. And again, it works well. Right, okay, let's get this set up now. And in this first scenario, let's pretend now that this Xbox controller is broken. So we've only got the Xbox 360 to use on the Xbox One. So let's unplug the 360 controller and we're gonna bring it over to a Windows 10 laptop. Okay, very basic, quite an old Windows 10 laptop. But what I've done is I have plugged it into the power because obviously if you're gonna be play in your Xbox for three, four, five hours and you're gonna run out of power on the laptop. So, although we're not viewing anything on the laptop, it is using the input from the controller to work. So what we have to do is we have to open the Xbox app on the Windows 10 device. I will do a separate video of how to set up streaming on a Windows 10 laptop, but it is actually quite straightforward. So we're just gonna open up the Xbox app. Right, okay, and here we have an icon that says Xbox One. Stream Xbox One games now. So I'm just gonna click on that down there. And now it says connecting on Xbox One. And it says there are no controllers attached to this PC. And over here, it does say down the bottom that streaming has started. So now we have to plug the controller into this because otherwise we won't be able to control anything on the main Xbox over there. So we just get our USB from the Xbox 360, plug it into one of the spare USB ports on the laptop, like that. And now, if you have a look here, you can see that the one player is flashing there. Obviously, if you had more than one 360 controller wired, you would be able to connect up more than one. And as well as that, I haven't got one, but if you've got the wireless dongle, apparently that works as well, but I can't actually test that. But if you've got a wireless 360 controller and a wireless dongle, that also works. Right, so all we've got to do is hit continue, so press A. And right now, whatever I see on here, I'm gonna see over there, but we don't need to watch it over here because we can just take this controller here and watch it on the big screen. We've got a nice long lead on it. As long as you've got your laptop relatively near to you, then whatever I do on the big screen will work via the 360 controller. Now, let's just say if you did this and you did have a bit of lag, a bit of input lag, then what you can do is you can lower down the settings when it comes to the streaming. Because remember, we don't care if there's poor settings on this because we're not bothered about the picture on here. We only want the controller to be able to use it on the main TV over there. So let's go up here and let's put the settings right down low so we've got the best possible connection for the controller. So at the moment, it's on medium. Let's put it down to low. Okay, and now as you can see, the picture's got a lot worse. You might not be able to notice that, but I can notice it. The picture's got a lot worse here, but who cares because we're not using that. At least now, it will concentrate more on having the controller working better because it's not gonna stutter so much trying to get a good connection on 
the picture side of things. Now, if you're still having problems with it, then if possible, connect up your laptop via an ethernet cable to your router or router as you guys know it in the rest of the world, and then you will find that the connection will be much better. Obviously it helps as well if your Xbox is connected up via an ethernet cable, so if you have a poor wireless signal on your laptop and your Xbox, you're going to end up with a bad connection and it's not going to work well. But if you connect your Xbox via Ethernet cable or you've got a good wireless connection and you've got a good wireless connection on here, you will be fine or use an Ethernet cable. So at the moment I've got my Xbox connected up via Ethernet, but this is connected up just via wireless. So there's no Ethernet cable plugged into it. Right, okay, so if we go back over here now. Right, okay, let's just go into Minecraft. And what you can do is, if the sound's gonna annoy you from the laptop, because you're gonna hear the sound coming out of the laptop as well, just put the laptop on mute. So at the moment, I've got that on mute. Right, and as you can see now, it's working around. And as far as lag's concerned, if you have a look, doesn't feel any difference at all. But again, it will depend on the game that you're playing. On a game like Minecraft, probably not gonna notice it even if there was a fair bit of delay. To me, that feels exactly the same as just using the Xbox One controller. Well, right, okay, now I'm gonna do two player split screen. So we've got the Xbox 360 working here and we're gonna have the Xbox One S controller working here. Well, right, okay, so as you see, we've got the first player on the top screen, and then we have the second player, this one here, on the bottom screen. Okay, and the reason the Xbox 360 controller is player one is purely because we connected that one first. If we'd connected up this Xbox One S controller, then this would be player one. But remember, we pretended that this one wasn't working, and we set up the Xbox 360 controller. But if we had just done this one first, then obviously the Xbox 360 controller would be the second player, and it would be down the bottom of the screen. Okay, and I just want to show you it working the other way around. So with this being the player one and this being the player two. So for example, if we have a look now, you can see that that is working up the top screen. And now this one is working down the bottom screen. So this would be the example where you would use it if you had a friend over and you wanted to play two player. And then when you're done with it, all you have to do is go back over to the Windows 10 laptop and stop the stream. So if I was to go over here and just click on where it says stop streaming, you will see now it's gone back to there and at the bottom it says stop streaming. And now the Xbox 360 controller will no longer work anymore, it won't do anything. Okay, now if you were wondering whether other controllers will work on your Xbox One when you're plugging it in via the Windows 10 laptop, unfortunately the answer is no. I've tried the DualShock 3, which is the PS3 controller, and the DualShock 4, the PS4 controller, wired via USB and also via the USB wireless adapter, they don't work. I've tried the Nintendo Switch controller, that doesn't work, and I've also tried a Steam controller, that doesn't work either. So uh, unfortunately, no other controllers work. It is just the Xbox 360 controller that I can get to work. I hope you guys liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up if it's helped you out and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.